You know those shurikens have just faded away. I'm sure they weren't doing anything important down there. Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Darn it, one of them finally got me. Last time, did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, one of the jobs, uh, odd. V very odd and it felt extremely out of place for a Sly Cooper game. The other job, very productive. This time, who knows? Okay, back in the fishing caves. Okay, Riluigi. We need to collect samples from those strange plants growing high on the cave wall. Commonly known as the spiky wall climber, it secretes a mild toxin we can use to make sushi rolls that will put any guard to sleep instantly. Just be careful not to be overcome yourself. Benji son, did I not explain? You're a ninja master. I know, I know. Hey, no. Allow me to show you how it's done. Well, now at least I know where Sly gets it from. <laughs> All of his overconfidence? Yeah. I'm glad the game addressed that. Works, we can rid our land of this villainous tiger. Not really sure where you want guards in the fishing cave. That's not a Majan tile. It's a tomato juice box worth 500. What on earth even is this? Geisha mask. Only 100. Probably paper craft. Makes sense. Mahjong tile. Okay, it's worth 200. Not sure why, but we'll roll with it. Tomato juice box. 500. What on earth even is this game? Okay. So, is there a way for us to get up in here somewhere? Now, this is just one of those cheap jars. Jars? Jugs? What, what is this thing? An urn? I'm not sure what to call that. But you turn around. No eyes here. Oh, come on now. Okay, sure, you can do that. <laughs> Can't say he didn't try. Uh, hmm. Also, Murray made these things sink, and the Cooper clan makes it sink as well. I mean, you are a ninja, but it's more like you're a Cooper. I think that's kind of the biggest difference here. Heck, anyone in the Cooper game could have gotten past those just fine. Okay, but we can't get past the wall. Um, what does that do for us? So it'll call these guys down. That's not something I can climb up on. Sure, I can activate it, but what does that do for me? Aha. Gotcha. Hopefully I have enough to... Really? Really? Make better timing with this. You don't know I'm here. I must strike the blossom to extract the poison. And it's not an aggressive plant. Guess it would technically be poison. Even the largest enemy. Ah, this poison will make those guards sleep like babies. That's probably not a good thing considering everybody knows how well babies sleep when they're left alone, right? Not that I am one myself, but I think any parent out there can probably attest to that. Ah, what a cute baby. I bet he sleeps so soundly. You ever look at the parents of a newborn? Just kind of noticing very suddenly that that is a phrase which really probably never made any sense. Why do we have that? Like, I, I can understand if maybe it was used in, like, a joking sense. But now whenever people say it, it's 
No, no, no. You sleep like a baby. You're definitely just sleeping very soundly. And I guess sometimes when babies sleep, they do sleep very soundly, but let's be real here. Everyone knows rather well, I assume. Babies are not known for being expert sleepers. Just seems like a very odd phrase, and I don't know why I never questioned it before. That was, uh, simple. Weirdly simple. Now, admittedly, we did start off the episode by being right in front of the door where the job was going to start. But at the same time, um... Can we go down there, or are we supposed to go up? I have no idea. That was the first job we've done, which it took us less than seven minutes before we finished it. So, uh, why? And I'm pretty sure that they won't do this. I kind of brought up the whole... Sly making his own skills and whatever before, but, um, finally another treasure. It would be pretty cool if, during all this time travel and whatnot, Sly is able to figure out the skills that his ancestors used and kind of make them his own thing to become, like, uh, I guess it's not really how he would phrase it, but the most powerful Cooper in history? I mean, technically, he's here to, he's able to learn all these special skills that weren't in the Thievius Rancunas. All right, we have all the intel we need. El Jefe has played Dictator for the last time, and it's time to bring him down. First, we need to open those dragon gates. Thanks to Ryuichi's special sushi rolls, the guards are out for the count. Sly, you'll need to gain access to the switches in their mouths. Next, we'll need to open the palace sword gate. However, the bridge is crawling with guards, so we'll need to create a diversion. Murray, you, Sly, and myself will need to distract the guards. Once they're occupied, Ryuichi can make his way under the bridge to the switch and open the gate. Once we get that gate open, there's nothing stopping us from taking the palace and putting El Jefe in his place. Viva la revolucion! Huh. You know, okay, that's... I have no idea why you veered off in that direction. Just gonna say that right now. And it's kind of a minor detail, but... El Jefe doesn't know that the Cooper gain is here, right? Okay, Sly. Use those rollers to open the dragon bow. Find the switches somewhere inside. And don't forget your armor. Something tells me those things have very bad breath. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Okay, sure. Also, are we already getting to the point where we're going to take down El Jefe? Seems kind of fast, but maybe I'm just misremembering the other games. The piles of sleeping guards are also very confusing in so many ways. Not the least of which is, why are they here? Wonder if I could smack him and use the excuse, what are you doing here? Get up, get out of your, get out of bed. And don't go too far, we need that bottle. We need that bottle. We need that bottle, guys. Guys, there's a bottle right there. Okay, guess we're going forward. 
Pretty sure there's not going to be any bottles in here. Nice to see that Murray survived El Jefe, being the geisha as well. Pretty sure those were in... Those weren't in ancient Japan. I mean, just a shot in the dark, but... Wanna kill a pigeon? Aw. Pigeons don't want to die. How about these pigeons? Darn it. Again, I don't know why I'm doing it. Oh. Hi. <laughs> End of the line, Cooper. Get them, you fools. Notice he said Cooper and not Coopers. Okay, you all know what to do. Time to kick some butt. My favorite time of the day. Bye. Let's do this. Uh, of course, we're going to be playing as Murray. I mean, it makes sense. Murray's the strong one, but... Come on now. Oh. I was going to do the belly flop, but now there's none of them left to hit. Uh, are you, are you going down? Like, it does make sense. Murray's a strong one. He's the one that you want to be playing as when you're in the middle of a big knockout brawl fest. But still, I'd rather play as Sly. Murray, I've just never enjoyed controlling. Oh yeah, it definitely makes sense for Ryoichi to be the one doing all this. Oddly enough, he is way more agile than Sly. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Open mouth, insert foot. Oh boy, I think I just got an athlete's ton after that one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You guys doing okay up there? Your last? I'm a little bit sad that I'm not seeing guys fly over the edge. I mean, it was a nice view of the blimp, I suppose, but it, uh, I was a little distracted, not looking at the blimp, hoping to see signs of combat to laugh at. With how busy the entire rest of the game is, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Really? Okay, sure, we'll go with that. Nope, missed them all. And it looked like there was a visual effect of me hitting something, but uh, nope. Come on, go the right way. Hey, birdies! Aw. I am way too excited. But oh, there we go, there we go, finally. There's a little bit more. Thank you. Such a weird spot for a gate, but you know what? We'll go with it. Suddenly a flamethrower is revealed. In you go, boys. Big strong geisha. I guess I'll have to like some thick. Not the best of circumstances. It's my... uh, why did you not take it before when you put him in jail? Okay, that it, that's ridiculous, but also kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's the ridiculous part. <laughs> Sorry, Cooper. You lose. I need to deliver this puny stick to a new owner. Oh, we getting no! that back. El Jefe's getting away. Don't worry, Ryuichi. Watch after these two. I'm gonna kick some tiger tail and get your cane back. Not sure how we're gonna do that, but okay, sure. I'm having 
flashbacks to Batman Arkham Origins. Pretty sure that's the right one. Very brief, but uh, is there something back here? Ah ha 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 ha! My senses were tingling! Not the paranoia the kind this time. Didn't even bother to lock the door. That would have stopped us easy. I'm sure he's a humble guy. <laughs> hey, Cooper! What do you think of my statue? <laughs> Looks like a real pigeon magnet. Ah, I hope you can fly like a pigeon, Cooper. Otherwise, you'll never catch me. Like, is this going to be the point where Sly tries to use Ryuichi's we'll see skill? about that. Because that'd be really awesome. There was never a point where it was said or implied even that Ryoichi was teaching Sly that skill, but still. It'd be pretty awesome if he just kind of like figured it out on his own by watching Ryoichi. A magnificent likeness, isn't it, Cooper? Almost as handsome as the real thing! Huh, yeah. Looks almost big enough to contain your overinflated ego. Take a nice long look. I want you to remember the one who crushed you! Looks to me like you've got nowhere left to run, El Jefe. Ready to face me now? <laughs> Sticking up for the family, eh, Cooper? Too bad you'll never see any of them again! <laughs> oh, Cooper! You've climbed so high! And now... <laughs> you're gonna fall! <laughs> well, we baited him into combat anyway. Sure, let's go for it. Gotta dodge these fireballs. Get close. Shouldn't be too hard. He's clearly a bad shot. Like really, you you got a lead. Okay, the, again, that, that is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I'm right next to fire, it's gonna have some heat. Really? You, you, you're gonna go for this? I guess it's a cool view. But seriously, dude, you know I'm right here. I know that you know I'm right here. Not impress you? Oh, don't worry. I have that effect on all cowardly crime lords. El Jefe. Hmm. Isn't that Spanish for big baby? Ah, enough of these stupid games. Okay, let's see how often I die before I manage to beat him. Okay, fireballs, not lightning. Noted, don't get close. Ow. So that's gonna be my point for a switch. Noted. Would prefer if you didn't do that. I thank you kindly, sir. You're really bad at this. Oh, well. Figured he was going for the fireball. That's number one! At least the game tells you, hey, here's how you're gonna beat him! It's not something you gotta figure out on your own. Although, based on the fact that all the fireballs look the same, it should have been obvious. Not gonna complain, though. Ow. Unless that happens. That was so little health. Oh, right. Okay, let's not fall off. <laughs> Honestly, that's a really cool skill, but it's not very practical. Okay, I pushed the jump button just a little too late. Okay. 
Did I just see a look of fear in his eye for a moment? It was very brief. But sure, whatever. Hey buddy, I'm coming for you. Oh, you're you're trying. Oops. Oh wait, maybe. You're such a tough guy. He sure runs away a lot. <laughs> kind of starting to think the same thing. You know, I can't help but wonder. Those fireballs he's throwing at me—they were able to hit me. Would I have been able to deflect those too? Okay, well, gonna take a note to avoid that in the future. Again, super cool technique. It might work if you're surrounded, but against a single opponent, not so much. I mean, clearly the slash is much better. I can't jump back down to, to avoid that thing? Oh, wait, I should probably put on the samurai armor. That would make sense. Sly, you idiot. I clearly jumped over that. What were you doing? I'm pretty sure I clearly jumped over it. I was busy watching El Jefe. All right, that time I was able to jump over it. That slash is the most effective thing. The other lightning attacks, not so much. Whoppity whoppity. Oops, didn't work. I learned from my mistakes. Usually. You, not so much, though. Do the slash. And now he's gonna do the fireball, right? No! No, he's not! He learns from his mistakes, too. At least we get some health back every time I do this. It's not Scar, he's El Jefe. Darn it! Also, is El Jefe... Uh, does that stand for Big Baby? I'm not sure, suddenly. Obviously, Sly Cooper is not the type of game to give you dialogue lessons, or, uh, not dialogue. Language lesson skills, but still. It stands for something, doesn't it? Nerp. Again? Nope. Thank goodness I can change into my costume in midair. Also, that right there, this one's a really cool move. I have to admire that much. Darn it. The only way I could have gotten out of that one was to run to the right, and clearly the game is telling you, hey, don't do that. So I feel like that one was kind of a cheap shot, but maybe it was a good shot on his part. Hard to tell. Maybe I should bash him with a shield. Maybe that would do more damage. Probably not. Okay, that one was good. Oh yeah, and when we first encountered him down the bridge, I was wondering, oh, is there a lady tiger? I mean, look at the, his legs. They're extremely... feminine. I'm glad I got that one off in time. Okay, one more round. This is a checkpoint at least, right? Ah yes, destroy the construction equipment, which is helping you build your statue. Clearly, this is the wisest idea. I mean, personally, I don't mind, other than the fact it's dropping down on me. And it gave me a way forward, but still. I don't think that was even a joke. It was an attempt, but maybe if I had some cat, he'd stop running away. If you had some, oh, catnip. 
See, that one was funny. That one actually has a build-up to it. But Crane Style is like, uh, what kind of style? Just because we're in Japan, it makes Crane Style funny. I have to get Ryoichi's cane back. Uh, yeah, duh. We're not gonna turn around and go back, you doofus. Why won't you quit? All right. What new stuff are you gonna show me this time? Okay, there's that. You gonna turn a lot faster this time? Or at least try to. Nope, didn't jump in time. I'm on the lookout for anything new. You'd think he'd learn by now not to do that particular move because every time he does that one, that's the one that gets him in trouble. All right, just need to survive. What? Whoa! Okay, that was new. Why? What? I I think I got stun locked. Why won't you quit? Let's be real here, dude. Would you quit? You're the one who's losing. How do you like my cane style? See, now that one makes sense. Okay, tried to compensate for it, and it didn't work for me. Okay, next hit's gonna decide it. Here we go. Oh good, he still has the cane. <laughs> What the what now? Uh-oh. <laughs> loyal minions. Are they loyal to him or to his boss? Okay, that's not the silhouette I was expecting to see, but I don't recognize it either. Was it a skunk? Or a fox? Not sure if it was a fox. Oh, that's a time travel machine. Oh! Okay, gonna be honest here. Their time travel machine is a lot cooler than ours is. El Jefe was defeated, disgraced, and delivered to the cops. But it was a hollow victory. I failed to get back Ryuichi's cane, and we still had no idea who was really behind this whole thing. One thing was for sure, it was somebody powerful enough to have his own private army. We contacted Dimitri for an update on the Thievius Raccoonus, and it looked like Tennessee Kid Cooper needed our help next. That meant we needed to travel back to the 1880s. Luckily, one of the goons that took Ryuichi's cane had dropped what looked like an old sheriff's badge. Bentley had been trying to figure out where it might be from, but now it all made sense. After sampling the badge, Bentley was able to calibrate the time machine. As we prepared to make the jump back to the Old West, I found myself wondering how Carmelita was doing. That was a cool establishing shot. We arrived in the Wild West, looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper, a legendary outlaw whose bank robberies were some of the most daring in Cooper lore. When we arrived, it took some time to locate him, but we eventually found him in prison. Not even remotely His surprised. His was the handiwork of the local sheriff, 
who had celebrated by posting his own picture all over town. Talk about an ego. We needed to bust Tennessee out of jail. But after some furious calculations, Bentley determined that the best way to do that was from the inside. For the first time in my career, I was gonna have to let the law catch me. This could be a real challenge. How come we've never seen something like this before? I mean, there was a kidnapping thing, I think, in the second game. But all the same, this one's gonna be intentional. <laughs> sure. Would you like to go to time travel? No, no, no. We don't need the time travel menu. Uh, not doing the Bentley miss stuff. We're not doing the Murray stuff either. Show me the, show me the thief now. There we go. I needed to push the right button. Okay. Um... Looty shake. That amuses me more than I think it really should. And... Uh, I mean, Chalk Emma's kind of fine, but whatever. We're just going to buy that. I'm going to call it the end of the episode here. Thanks, everyone, for joining me today. Uh, I don't know if I'm good. Oh, wow. We've never seen Bentley's eyes before. Granted, we can't see them because they're closed shut, but still, we've never seen behind the glasses ever. Not sure how I feel about that, honestly. I uh, don't know if I'm going to go back for the bottles. I feel like I should because it's something I've always done. Maybe I'll figure it out later. Uh, for now, I'm gonna take Sly Cooper and get caught, I guess. <laughs> See you guys next time. I'm looking forward to what happens next. Take care.